We're going to be talking today about digital nomad locations throughout Southeast Asia and where some of the best spots to work online are, as well as the most popular and some of the lesser known ones that we'd like to mention ourselves. I'm Flynn from Offshore in Asia. We help people move, do business and invest in Southeast Asia. Chiang Mai is a great location. It's an excellent place to get your foot in the door if you're coming to Southeast Asia for the first time and want to work online. It's a uni town. It's got a low cost of living. So everything there is already set up for online work. It's super affordable. Northern Thai food is delicious. Accommodation is cheap and easy to find. There's plenty of co-working spaces around. It's got a really good expat community as well as the locals there who tend to be very friendly. The one thing that does bother me and most people is the burning season. So from late Feb to kind of the end of April, you'll have slash and burn agriculture going on, which is when people burn their crops for the next harvest. And the air quality gets really bad there. I'm talking the worst air quality in the world at the time. So it's pretty shocking. The smoke can get really bad. So you might want to think about heading south or elsewhere in Southeast Asia for this time. The second is Bali. I mean, it goes without saying, places like Abud, Changu, super busy, super popular nowadays. Personally, not a fan of Changu. I spent a bit of time there and it's just very hectic, a lot going on. Uh, if it's your scene, if you want the more kind of influencer culture, a bit more cafes and bars, it's definitely the most westernized place I've been in Southeast Asia. Abud's good. It's busy and similar too, but it's very green, very beautiful. And then I would actually mention, although I haven't been there myself, is Lombok. Everyone who has been there sings its praises. Those who've been to Bali 20, 30 years ago say how it's like just going back in time. It's very green, it's much less developed, and a lot of people say that it's like the Bali of 20, 30 years ago. The next mention is Malaysia. It doesn't seem to get the attention it deserves. I think people assume it's going to be expensive because it's a more developed country. But in reality, I find the cost of living somewhat similar to Thailand and Bali. Penang and Kuala Lumpur are my favourite locations in Malaysia by far. They're both very multicultural. Malaysia's got an interesting mix of Southern Indians, Chinese and Malay people there. So they bring all their culture and food to the table, which makes it really interesting and a delicious place to live. The only con is that it's not as developed as far as nomad infrastructure, things like co-working spaces and stuff, as opposed to say Bali or Thailand, because it just doesn't have the volume of tourists there yet. So if you want to network with other nomads, that might be a little bit more difficult than the aforementioned places. The fourth place is central Vietnam. I couldn't nail it down to a specific location because you have Da Nang, Hue and Hoi An. The three of them are all awesome locations. They all have something different to offer. Da Nang's a beachside, big city, easily the biggest of the three. Hue is a quieter, more ancient town. It was the ancient imperial capital of Vietnam. And you also have Hoi An, which is a touristy old town area, which is a really cool place to visit as well. That's going to be more love and love or hate because you're going to have a lot of tourists there, but it's a lot of beautiful architecture and it's probably going to be a bit easier to find a rental there. As far as the other places, Da Nang's great. It's not my scene, but a lot of people do like it. It's definitely where the most nomads in Vietnam hang out. It's got a good cost of living. You've got that big city right on the beach and a lot of people do like that. Hue is a great place to visit as well. It's one of my favorite in Vietnam because it's such an old, beautiful town and the Perfume River flows right through it. So you can get a place right on the river for a pretty good price. Some honorable mentions, the Philippines. The only issue there is the infrastructure isn't as well built up and most places there don't have the best Wi-Fi or internet connectivity. However, you can make it work if you want and it is a beautiful place to go. So no doubt don't discredit it. It's just that I think the previous places are probably a little bit better designed, at least starting off. I just want to mention my two favorite countries as far as traveling, that's being Laos and Cambodia. They're both absolutely stunning. Obviously development's a bit more of an issue. In Laos, Luang Prabang is amazing. Don Det's also great. They're both on the Mekong, but a long way apart. And they're gonna be really calm, old fashioned towns. Luang Prabang in particular does have a smaller nomad scene, at least some working travelers transiting through there. And it seems to have a decent amount of internet and you can get some work done there. Luang Prabang's always reminded me of what Chiang Mai must have felt like 150 years ago. And there's just, there's somewhat of an allure to it. And it's just a small, very ancient town. And it's got this really cool mix of French and Lao architecture. And the food there is just incredible. Cambodia is another one. Phnom Penh's pretty cool. It's like, again, Bangkok of 30 years ago, a lot of people say. Personally, if I was gonna be working there, I'd be looking at Kampot. It's a calm beach town of about, few thousand people and it's just super chill along a river and it's right near Kep, another town. So if you want that beach, it's right there. And I mean, it's hard to really explain what's there because there's not much, but it's just a great place really. So that's it for the video. I just thought I'd give you guys something to work with, something to think about, maybe some places you hadn't already thought of to check out. 
if there's anything you'd like to add or anywhere you think we've missed, please add it in the comments. We'd be interested to hear what you think. And if you've got any thoughts in the places we did mention, please let us know as well.